Hey guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, and I will say welcome to me because I haven't been uh, on YouTube for a long time. I haven't posted anything in a long time, and but I'm back. Uh, for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Mauricio Marino. I'm a photographer based in New York City. Today I'm doing a new high-speed uh, photography uh, shoot and I hope you like it. I uh, haven't done a video in a long time, uh, but I hope you enjoy this and that it will be easy uh, and explain good so that you can do it at home. So let's take a look. So in today's shoot, uh, we're gonna be doing high-speed photography with drops. Um, the concept of today's shoot, well, the idea, what we're trying to achieve is we want to uh, drop water drops into this container when the drop splashes in the in the water that's what we want to catch we want to freeze that action um, that's why it's high-speed photography because it's something you want to something that's happening very fast you want to freeze it the the equipment that I have is uh, you just need a DSLR camera you need a flash you need a glass container I have it on top of a dark uh, background it could be a dark cardboard dark uh, anything it's just something dark and I have a diffuser here which uh, I like to use it because it expands the light a little better uh, if you just use the gun it's gonna shoot it and it's gonna be too harsh and it's gonna be kind of like a spot this kind of like expands the the light a little better so that's why I like it um, I'm using uh, Young Nuo Flash. It's a very cheap flash. If you don't have right now and you can uh, buy it later on, it's very cheap, inexpensive flash, and they do the job. Um, what else? Oh, and on the flash, I have uh, a blue gel attached to it, which I'm going to show you real quick. This is the blue gel that I have. Uh, so you put it. The gel, the blue gel, what it would do, it would make uh, the image blue. Ooh. So I chose blue because we're dealing with water and blue looks awesome in water. Uh, because water's blue, isn't it? No. All right. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's, you want to test the light? Always test the light first. You always want to test the light. So let's just do a shot. Oh, like that. Oh, I didn't tell you um, my settings. I have the camera at uh, one, one one sixtieth of a second, uh, two point eight, and one twenty five ISO. All right. So let's take another to show to show. Yeah, I like I like how it looks. I like that. Okay. So the the tricky part about this is. Um, well, first of all, you got to do this on manual, manual focus. Um, so what I do, because uh, if you do it, uh, automatic focus is impossible. It's, if you can do it, uh, do it and then show me. But I, I think it's, it will be impossible to do it. So what I do is I grab the dropper and I put it where I'm going to be dropping the water. I put live view and I manually focus there. Uh, let me see. All right. Uh, I'm going to be dropping the water there. And let's manually focus. Okay, I'm good there. I'm focused. Make sure that the camera stays manual so it doesn't try to focus. Because if it's on autofocus, it's just going to try to focus. It's not going to be, it's not going to do it. All right, so the next step. Uh, the other tricky part is you have to press the shutter as soon as the water, the drops hit the water. Because we're trying to fr freeze that action. So it might take you a couple of times. But the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So let's give it a one try. Let's see. One, two. Uh, it's all right. I was a little late. Let's do it one more. Oh, that looks good. That's uh, out of focus. You have to do it where it 
I focused. Ah, that was perfect, but I missed it. That's perfect. That's perfect there. I like that. So there you go. You see, and as you can see also, uh, try to <laughs> try to use a glass container that it doesn't have the the actual the, the, the brand of the product on the bottom because you will see it on the photo as you can kind of see it in these photos. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So try to use uh, something that doesn't have a brand. So it's better, it's better and easier for you. It's not a headache on post-production to try to get rid of that. Uh, so let's, let's try one more time. Let's see if we can blur it out with the splash. That uh, looks better. It's kind of blur. It blur out the, the brand. Looks nice. Let's do it one more time. I like that better. There you go. So there you go, guys. It's a very easy shoot. Uh, you can do at home. Uh, you just need a camera, flash, a container with water, glass container with water. Everyone has that. Come on. Um, so it's a very easy. Uh, it's uh, creative. You don't need many stuff. So there you go. Let me know what you thought about the shoot. If uh, I was helpful comment below and give it a like if you liked it and if you haven't yet and if you're gonna keep watching videos like this subscribe um, and I would like to see your results if you want to try this try it at home and send me some photos or tag me on Instagram I'm gonna be put, putting the my Instagram handle there but stay tuned I'm gonna be putting uh, new videos soon so I'll see you till then bye